What is up, guys? It's Neil Rock City for Roblox. It's Friday, March 11th at 7.46 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. And this is the second video I wanted to surprise you with. And you guessed it, it is Bangles Mall Spring 2022 Comeback. The reason why I'm calling this a comeback is because I've done videos here in the past. I filmed the elevators here in September 2020, which was a year and a half ago. And I filmed the escalators here last summer. Now today we're going to do every single little aspect in one video. So without further ado, let's get started. Now starting the video off, we are going to do JC Penny. And this place hasn't changed much. Only the elevator had changed from a year and a half ago. So now let's go inside. All right, now we have this elevator. It was a ThyssenKrupp when I last filmed this one a year and a half ago, but now I'm not sure what brand this is and it's really old. So we're going up to two. Go back down to one. We have the ceiling, wood walls, carpet floor, floor indicator, fixtures, go up and close alarm, emergency phone, and the firefighter's operation. This is the firefighter's operation. That's the light, fan, inspect, and power cell. And there goes the elevator. Now let's move on. Now we are going to do the escalators in JC Penny and they're Otis. And they are Otis, which are still the same from last summer. We're going to go down the down escalator. And that is it for the escalators. Now that is it for JC Penny. Let's move on with the video. Moving on, we have the main atrium. So now we are going to go inside and see what we have there. Now we have this elevator that goes up to the second floor of the main atrium. I'm not sure what brand this is, but it looks really modern. We're going up to L2. And then you have glass doors. Now we are up on the second floor. We are going to go back down to 1. Into the cab view. There you have your ceiling. Floor indicator. Pictures, door open, closed alarm, and the emergency phone on one side. Firefighter's operation. There's your carpet floor that matches the rest of the floor with the outside. And you can see the wood walls. And now there goes the atrium elevator. Now, moving on, we are going to do what is outside of Bloxmark. So, let's continue. We are starting off this section with the downstairs people movers. And I am not sure what brand they are, but you have to walk to them. Fun fact, these downstairs people movers go to Bloxmart. Which is this, actually the street entrance. Sorry about that, but anyways, the right side is not in use. So we're going to move on to the upstairs one. Now, we have the people movers upstairs that are going to block smart.
Now we are going to go to the right one. And this is the exit from Blocksmart to the second floor of the mall. And that is it for the people movers outside Bloxmark. Now next we have the Otis escalators outside Bloxmart. And these actually will lead you into the store. We'll get to that in a minute. Now that is it for the Otis escalators outside of Bloxmart. Now, that is it for everything outside Blocksmart. We'll do everything that's into Blocksmart. Now, alright guys, we are moving on to Blocksmart. And fun fact, this store just opened last month. So now we are going to go inside and see what it looks like. Now we have the Otis escalators inside of Blocksmart. These actually go up to the store. And there's the Otis badge, and we're going to go down the down escalator. And that's it for the Otis escalators inside Blocksmart. Now we're going to do the elevators in Blocksmart. Wow, this is humongous. We're going to go up to two. And this is an R and R elevator, which is pretty interesting. This is a hard find. Now we're here at two, and the door opens on this side. We're going to go to one and do the cab view. You see the ceiling lights, floor indicator, fixtures, door open close, alarm, emergency phone, r and r elevator badge, firefighter's operation. There's the first and second floor directory of Blocksmart. The first floor is actually the entrance and the second floor is the store. But the capacity of this is 8,000 pounds and it can fit up to 64 passengers. And there it goes. And that's it for the Blocksmart Elevator. Alright guys, that concludes for Block. That wraps it up for Blocksmart. Now, we have these Otis Escalators in the middle of the atrium. And these are the exact ones that I filmed last summer. Now we're going to go down the down escalator. And that is it for these escalators that go to the middle of the atrium. Now here is the real Pop-Tart Superstore. It is unfortunately closed. But it will reopen again soon when the remodel is done. Now let's just move on. Now we are here in the outlet hall, and we are going to take these Otis people movers to the food court. And yes, I did film these last summer as well. And we have to walk through one more. Now we're reaching the end. We're going to take the other one. Which goes forward. Now 
now this is the last one coming to an end. And that is it for the People Movers. Next up is the J.C. Penny Court. So now we are going to go ahead and continue on. Now these are the Otis Escalators at J.C. Penny Court. And the reason this is called J.C. Penny Court is because they have J.C. Penny right outside here. And this is the other entrance to J.C. Penny. And we're going to go down the down escalator. Now that concludes the escalators. Now we have this handicap elevator in JC Penny Court. And as you can see there's a handicap sign. And this is a Schumacher elevator, which is similar to the Otis Series 5, and we're going up to two. Now you're here at two. Let's go back down to one. You have the ceiling, wood walls, floor indicator, fixtures, door open, close alarm, emergency phone, firefighters operation with your Schumacher badge. And this elevator only has a 3,500 pound capacity. And that is it for the J.C. Penny Court elevator. All right, guys, that concludes the J.C. Penny Court. Now let's continue on. Moving on, we have hotels, fascinating illusions, and gift shops. And now let's go inside the store. All right, now these are the Otis escalators that go inside the shop, and they're up only because the shop entrance is on the second floor. And there's this one that goes up as well, so that concludes the escalators that go up. Now we have this elevator that only goes up to the shop, and this is a Montgomery Kone. We press two, one lights up at the same time. And now you can see the ceiling, the window, carpet floor, wood walls, floor indicator, fixtures, door open, close alarm. That's the emergency phone. Major firefighter's operation. And there it goes, and there's no down button because it says do not enter. Now this is the Dover Impulse Elevator inside Hotels Fascinating Illusions and Gift Shops. And warning, if you are prone to seizures, you are free to click off this video because this has lots of flashing lights. We're going to go to one. You can see the cab view. This is changing colors. You have your floor indicator, fixtures, door open, close alarm, firefighters operation, but there's no emergency phone. And you can see the floor is changing colors too. And there it goes. And it says, do not ride this elevator if you have suffered from epilepsy. Don't say I didn't warn ya. Okay, now moving on, we have the down only escalators inside the shop. Because like I said, the exit is on the first floor and the entrance is on the second floor. And this one is down too, so we can't go up. And that concludes the down escalators. Now that concludes Hotels Fascinating Illusions and Gift Shop. We are going to go to the food court and walkway. Alright guys, now this is the food court and walkway. So we are going to go inside and continue. Now these are the escalators that go up to the food court, and they are Otis again. Fun fact, the food court of this mall is actually on the second floor, 
and there's the food court. And you have lots of options. Normally there wouldn't be as many options with COVID. But we're going to go down the down escalator. And that is it for the Otis escalators that go to the food court. Now this is entrance C and Clay's big closet, which is closed because of a remodel. So now let's just move on with the video. Now this is the elevator that goes up to the food court. And there's the restrooms down there. This elevator is the Otis Series 5 and we're going up to UM. Door closes. Love that. Now we are at UM. We're going to go back to LM and do the cab view. This is a nice elevator. You have your ceiling, wood walls, marble floor, floor indicator, fixtures, door to close alarm, a push button emergency phone, firefighters operation, and there's your elevator certificate. And that is it for the food court elevator. Now, next up, we have Macy's. This place hasn't changed much since it got a remodel in November of 2019, which was over two years ago. So now we're going to go inside and take the ride. Now we are going to take the Otis escalators inside Macy's and up we go. are going around the second floor and that's the second floor of the mall which I'll explain later in the video and now we're on the third floor which is pretty empty we're going to go around because we need to go down the down escalator and that escalator is up and we're going to go around And down we go, the down escalator. And that is it for the escalators at Macy's. Okay, now we are going to ride the elevator at Macy's. And this is a Westinghouse. We are going to go up to three. And there is no door close button. Now the button went out and we're here at 3, now we're going to go to 1 and do a small cab view. And you have your ceiling, wood walls, carpet, there's no floor indicator, there's firefighters operation, you have your alarm. Fixtures, door open and that's the emergency phone. There's your alarm and your elevator certificate that expires January 2023. There's your exit sign. And there goes the Macy's elevator. And now that wraps it up for Macy's. We are going to continue with entrance B and the parking garage. Now, moving on, we have entrance B and the parking garage. So let's go inside the mall for the escalators. Now we have these Otis escalators that go up to the middle of the mall. I meant the food court walkway, and there's the food court over there, and that's what tells Fascinating Illusions and Gift Shop. 
And this is the upper part of the outlet hall. Now we're gonna go down the down escalator. And that concludes the escalators that go up to the upper part of the outlet hall. Okay, now we have the elevators at the Bengals Mall parking garage. And these are MEI glass elevators. And I'm going to go up to six, which is the green level. Fun fact about these, these elevators have changed from September 2020, a year and a half ago. And up we go. Now we're here at floor six. Go back down to one. And watch the numbers. Now we're going to send this one up and take the other one. Now here's the other one. We're going to back back to six or the green level. Now that place, there is supposed to be a roof, but we had to close it for some reason. So now we're going to go back down. We're going to go to one and do the cab view. So starting off, you have your ceiling, complete glass walls, you have your window, and you can even see the elevator shaft with the second one. You have the floor indicator, fixtures, door open, close, alarm, and that's the firefighter's operation. And there's your certificate. And that is it for the parking garage elevators. Now guys, that will wrap it up for Entrance B and the parking garage. We will go back inside the mall. Now this is the new Good Beans Home and Furniture Store. It is coming soon. Now let's just finish off the video. Alright, now last but not least, we have the back section. Now we're going to finish off with the two things there. Now, this is the Dover Impulse Elevator. And it has a nice chime, so we're going up to two. And up we go. Let's go right down to one and get a cow reel. This is a nice elevator. You have your ceiling, burgundy walls, which are a nice color, the floor indicator with your Dover badge, capacity 2,500 pounds, you have your fixtures, door open, close alarm, your emergency phone, and the firefighter's operation certificate. Expires January 2023. And that is it for the back section elevator. Now to conclude this video, we are going to go up the Otis escalators in the back section. And you can see this carpet floor. And there's the elevator we just got off of. Now here's the downstairs. 
And you can see there was construction going on currently. And that wraps it up for the Otis Escalators. Now that concludes the things in the back section. Alright guys, I really hope you enjoyed this video. I had a great time filming it. And I don't know when the closed parts of the mall will reopen and when the new Good Beans Home and Furniture Store will be coming. But it will definitely be sometime before the summer. But anyways, thank you so much for watching. Have a great day. Be sure to like, comment, and subscribe. Bye everyone!